Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. If you haven't already smashed the subscribe button yet, please do that right now. You're helping me out a bunch and building the football community. We're all about the conversation here on the William Ward channel. And the first one of today, Leicester City interested in shock £35 million Leeds United transfer. Now, we all know who's worth £35 million according to reports. According to Leicester Shear Live, Leicester City are reportedly interested in making a move for the winger Jack Harrison. Now, get your little hands off of him. We need him here at Leeds United. I cannot believe that if we let him go to Leicester or Atalanta or AC Milan, all those are in for him right now. For £35 million, you're crazy. Absolute craziness. According to this, City are searching for a new signings as they head towards the final few days of the transfer window. The Foxes welcomed the left-back Victor Christensen from FC Copenhagen, but are known to be keen to bolster their wide options this month as Brendan Rodgers looks to freshen up the squad. Now, Leeds United winger Jack Harrison has been a mainstay for Jack Jesse Marsh's side has emerged as a new name on the club's radar. Now, the 26-year-old is in the final 18 months of his deal at Ellen Road and has been linked in a move away from Ellen Road to the Foxes as both clubs conduct the remainder of their transfer business. Now, that is not good at all. I don't want that to be an option, but Harrison spent three seasons at the Yorkshire Club before finally making a permanent move over to in 2021 but Leeds are reportedly considering selling the winger and look to rebuild their squad no 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 what are you doing why would you sell Jack Harrison that could be the worst mistake ever and send him over to Leicester Leicester one of our rivals no way no way Jose let me know what you think about that down in the comments down below now the next one is according to Leeds Live there could be another American stepping his foot through the door at Ellen Road. You might know who this is. This is international teammate of Tyler Adams and Brendan Aronson. Obviously Weston McKenney has already told Jesse Marsh how he would fit in a Leeds at mid transfer links. Now Leeds and I have been linked with a move for Juventus midfielder Weston McKenney in the January transfer window which is now we've got a few days left on the January transfer window to be open and then and it is sealed shut till the summer. According to this, Juventus midfielder Weston McKenney has already told Jesse Marsh that he would be perfect partner for Tyler Adams in Leeds United's midfield. And being linked with a move to Ellen Road in the January transfer window, McKenney, age 24 is on the list of midfielders that the club are interested in signing, according to a recent report from Fabrizio Romano. Wow! That is interesting indeed. So that's two Americans in the midfield. In midfield, obviously we've got four Americans in the club. If he joins, let's see what happens there. But Adams has been an absolute star at Leeds United. So why not? Why not have another American come through the door? Let me know what you think about that down in the comments down below right now. And if you love these videos, I'm trying to pump it, pump out content every single day. Yes, we had a break on the channel for two days. Unfortunately, I couldn't get around to creating content due to some personal issues. However, we are back. We're back and ready to go with the content. According to this, Leeds United wants to sign Jimmy J. Morgan. He wants to move, apparently, according to Sky Sports. Leeds United are assessing whether they could sign Southampton sensation Jimmy J. Morgan in a January transfer window. The 17-year-old England Youth International has told the Saints that he is not interested in staying at the club and has rejected their, his first professional contract on the table. Wow! That is is insane. Arsenal and Man City are also in the race to sign Morgan, who is widely considered as a promising prospect for the future at, at the Premier League club. Wow, obviously we're, we've got a rebuilding programme, we've got the youth programme that we have at Leeds United and it's very, very promising for that young man if he comes over to us. But obviously Manchester City and Arsenal are big clubs and look at their players now. So let's see what happens there. Next one is Hit C. West Ham transfer news. Leeds target offered in bid to sign Ironos linked star. Now, Marseille have reportedly made a swap offer for the rumoured Leeds United target Bamba Dieng. Obviously, he snubbed us in the summer transfer window and went off elsewhere, but obviously failed his medical. 
and that is karma for you so let's see what happens there but according to this Marseille have reportedly made a swap offer for Bamba Dieng to sign Lorient star Terem Muffy who West Ham have been heavily linked with in recent weeks that's interesting very interesting indeed what do you think about that I think his attitude in the last transfer window says it all so good luck to him but we we are we are on tight ropes. We need quality players at a great price, and maybe we can get some cheap ones, just like Willy Yonto. What a player! Uh, so let's see what happens in the FA Cup next. But the next one is Leeds United injury news, as Liam Cooper unlikely unlikely to be risked for FA Cup. Well. I hope not. I don't want him to be on there, to be honest. Leeds United captain Liam Cooper is unlikely to be risked at the club's FA Cup tie against Accrington Stanley or Borehamwood, according to Yorkshire Evening Post. Cooper is suffering from a knee problem, similar to those who sustained in the last season for the Wyatt, something that which has given new Leeds United signing Max Volba a chance to shine, which he has. Max Volba, what a player indeed. He has been excellent since coming. All the tackles in the Brentford game, phew, straight in. As that sounds strange to, you know, do that. But you know what it is. You know what it is indeed. Now, the next one is, is Leeds United is close on Diego Monteiro signing. However... This is very good indeed. Obviously, the Portugal young youth defender plays his trade in Serbia in Switzerland and having earned rave reviews this season, the Whites are looking to prize the 17-year-old to Ellen Road. His signing would be one of the eye for the future, so that's two, two youths that we're looking for. But we need experience now. How many times have we got to say this? Maybe he could jump straight in the squad just like Yonto, but I doubt it. Who knows? Who knows? But apparently there's been some issues over his age. Obviously he's 17. But just before the January transfer window ends, he turns 18. So that means he has, you know, a option to come over here if he signs a contract. But that initial fee will be for £5.1 million. So let's see what happens there. Now, the news that you've all been waiting for. Leeds United giving green light to step up pursuit for Adazine Onahi. Leeds United pursuit on Onahi has been stalled previously due to Angers or Angers valuation of Morocco International with their £25 million asking price is almost twice what the United are willing to pay for the midfielder. Which is understandable, it's a lot of money. 25 million pounds but in the grand scheme of things it's not really a lot in terms of other players like bigger clubs but in terms of Leeds United that's massive 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 but according to this Unahi is straight first on the list and if he comes over to Leeds United then that'd be good but we also have Adama Traore also linked with us even further but it is looking likely that he may miss us and maybe go into the summer transfer window but we not we don't really know much about that but we've been given the green light to step up the transfer and now we see Onahi close hopefully he doesn't snub us to go to Napoli but we'll see what happens there let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video smash the subscribe button smash the like button and most importantly comment the fire emoji because I want to know who's got to this point in the video and let's build the community together and I'll see you guys in another video tomorrow. See you later.